What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and for all platforms, the fossils. Today is Wednesday, December 16th, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informational or helpful in any type of way. Or hit the thumbs down button if you don't really care for my videos like that. It's perfectly fine. That's how YouTube works. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because I post videos each and every day. Even if I'm not feeling like it or I'm under the weather, <laughs> I still post videos. Um, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, and I do say any bit earlier because it may just be an hour earlier than this video, <laughs> follow me on Instagram at, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, uh, follow me on Instagram and or Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. That will be in the description box below along with the cycles and a link to the current cycle of a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils. So you can mark them and go find them for yourself. Um, speaking of Madame Nazar, let's get to Madame Nazar's location. Madame Nazar is right here by Chola Springs, Armadillo adjacent, right here, Twin Rocks, at this location, she will be here until 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know, or not of America. How I get to her is just simply fast travel to Armadillo, which they should put you right here in this area somewhere, around this area, and you just run, run over I usually spawn like along the train tracks, like on the, the wooden uh, deck or plank area right there. I don't know what you call it, but I think it's like the the wooden wooden deck. I just run straight over, straight over to this location over here. Super easy. But let's get to these cycles. Let's put this right in the mark in a way. Or... And the area so you guys can see it, the details of everything. But the cycles for today are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Azuri Cycle 2, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Flower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Terra Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 4, and Fossil Cycle 2. Remember to check the description box below because I may visually see one one number and say a different number so check the description box below because i may verbally mess up anywho <laughs> let's get to these things that i found across the lemoyne area and i do the lemoyne area because that's the the area that i learned to do the cycles and i'm basically giving you guys these extras to just go get it because I mean, if you're going to collect everything anyways, why not collect, you know, why not give you guys a boost on things to get? I'm not just telling you these things for you to only collect these things every day. You have to go find the cycles and collect all of it because that's the only way you're going to make real money in this game. Not just by going by the things that I tell you. So when I tell you guys the cycles, go look up the cycles on Google or Whoever, type in um, Red Dead Redemption Online Coin Cycle 2 or something like that. And it'll, it'll tell you the cycles of each and every coin around the map. Or something that'll actually make you money every day. Family Heirlooms. The Google, GTA, oh, GTA. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Online. Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Family Heirloom Cycle 3. You know, something like that. And look at the video and mark the markers around the map and find each one. Because that'll make you money. Me personally, 
when I do do these searches or whatever, I look up two or three different type of one, two or three different type of um, cycles. Like I'll look up family heirlooms, uh, maybe flowers, or I'll do tarot cards if I'm like feeling like going through so much. Like I'll do all the tarot cards at once. I'll do family heirlooms. That's a, a given because that's a whole thing that can make you money. And maybe tarot cards or something like that. But that's just me. I'm just trying to tell you guys to help you guys make money. But let's get get into these things that I found across the map. Right up here, there's two things actually. Right here at this location. The right here at this marker is a antique alcohol bottle. It's like in I want to say like a small cave. I don't know what you call it, a cove. <laughs> There's a small area right here that you just put your hand in and grab the bottle out of. But come over here in this area and there will be an antique alcohol bottle. It's a, it's a, it's a, in, in the rock under the washed up boat that's right here. So when you do come over here in this area, look for a washed up boat. It's a scotch whiskey bottle, by the way. Right about here, at the same location, is a metal hairpin, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is right in front of this burned down house or shack or whatever that sits right here. So right here, you should find a, find a dig spot. It's not a metal detector thing. It's just a dig spot, so... You don't need your metal detector for these two at all. Okay, let's see what else we got for you guys. Right over here, at this location, down here, by the H in Blue Water Marsh, is two things. Right under the house, there's a spot for a random coin. Come over here with your metal detector, and you'll get a random coin. If you go inside the house, go up the stairs and go right past the, the dinner table. There's like a wash table or something like that. Right on that wash table is a tortoise shell comb inside the house. Um, what's the, What else we have? If you go over here, right about here, if you're over here at 10 p.m., between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. A blood flower should spawn right here in this area. And again, that's 10 between the game, the video game time, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. A blood flower should spawn right here. While you're here, grab this fo this fossil that's right here at this location. You need your metal detector. Come over here with your metal detector, and you will get a random fossil. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's bounce all the way over here to buy the O and buy you. And this is a lost jury. This lost jury is a Durant Pearl bracelet. It's right here inside this house, inside the chimney. So when you do come in here, go directly to the chimney and position yourself in front of it. Your character say search the chimney. He'll reach up in there and grab the Durant Pearl bracelet. When this Durant Pearl bracelet is inside the chimney, there's also a another uh, lost jury right here at this location. Like, about right here. I don't want to be... Yeah, it's about right there. Right here at this location, there's a tree. A big tree. And right at the base of the tree, right at the bottom of the tree, around the trunk, there's a, a spot for a random lost jury. This random lost jury, you will have to use your metal detector to get. So as soon as you come out the house, pull out your metal detector and run towards the tree. And right at the base of the tree, you will get a random lost jury. There's also a card if you want to go right back up here. There's a card, a tarot card right here at this location. This tarot card is an Eight of Cups. 
if you guys still over here by the time by 10 p.m there's a blood flower that spawns right here as well so you can collect more than one during the cycle i think it's like three or four that spawns per cycle what that's that <laughs> Right here at this location, which I usually mark this one, is another fossil. And it's under the bridge, not on the bridge. So uh, it's under the bridge along the shoreline. So directly under the bridge, come over here with your metal detector, and you will get another random fossil. Let's go down here a little bit. Right here inside this shack. Right here, inside the shack, there is a tarot card. This tarot card is a king of swords. It's inside the shack, towards the back, on the table to the right. Okay, let's see what else we can get for you guys. Come on down this way. If you guys want to cross the water or even come across this bridge right here. Right here at this location, there's a bird egg. This bird egg is a heron egg, H-E-R-O-N. It's in a tree, shoot it down with your vomit rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Right here, right down the street, right inside this mansion, by the E in Lemoyne, is a family heirloom. There's actually two things here, but a family heirloom sits along this this window right here and it's on like a a love seat or a bench seat a three-seater bench seat or something like that but this family heirloom is an eb ebony hairpin i mean is it ebony because it's black or dark colored or because it came from is it ebony family <laughs> just thinking Anywho, this, right inside this house, on the piano, which is like a, a baby grand piano or a half piano, a half grand piano, there's a three of pentacles tarot card inside the house, sitting on the pinnacle, on, um, on the pinnacle, on the piano, exactly on the same side of the house as this ebony hairpin. Once again, it's a three of pentacles. Let's see. Right over here, this tarot card. There's also a tarot card here. There's a tarot card here. And there's a tarot card. There's a bunch of tarot cards. There's a tarot card down here somewhere. Right next to this long boat. Like, uh, no, right here. There's a tarot card on this little boat here. There's another tarot card over here. And I do not, I know they're there. But I do not know exactly what those cards are because I did not search into them. So I apologize for that. But right here is a tarot card. This tarot card is by, um, there's a bunch of, there's a stack of crates right here in the corner. And a fossil right here in the middle. So when you do come over here, I mean the the fossil has a light a light pole in the middle, you know, just as an indication that you're in the right spot. But this tarot card is a four of cups tarot card. Okay, let's see what else we have. Right here at this location is a row of trains i guess like a train carts if you do come over here you can hit your eagle eye as you run up which you will have to come down this this first little area here you have to come down here but before you get here hit your eagle eye and you will see the antique alcohol bottle glow it's in the second cart so hop on top of the first cart and jump over into the second cart and you will find the antique alcohol bottle in the corner. And this antique alcohol bottle is a London dry gin bottle. 
Uh, let's see what else we have. Right here is the cardinal flower that I always tell you guys about in, that spawns in this area every cycle. So go get that if you want. But right here in this area, about here, is another blood flower. This blood flower spawns between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. if you want to collect this blood flower or you need to collect the blood flower or more than one that's another area for a blood flower to spawn here at this area 10 p.m. up here uh, I can't remember where oh up here right here in this area 10 p.m. and right up here oh Next to this, right, right here, 10 p.m. All those are blood flower locations. Okay, let's keep it moving. Uh, there are a couple cards and roads. I did not check the the what they were, but this there's a card here, and there's a card inside the little room right here. You see how that's poking out a little bit, right there. Is right inside that room. You see how it's poking out? There's a little baby room, a one person room right there at that location. But let's get up here. Right inside the shack is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is an ebony hairbrushes inside the house in a tall wardrobe. Um I guess that's like direct ahead directly ahead if I'm thinking about the exact house is like directly in front of the door as soon as you go in there's a tall wardrobe directly in front of you so just go straight ahead and open it up and i think it's right there if that's the right house that i'm thinking about but right here at this location pay pay attention to these lines these small faint or really dim lines right here that's an indication to where it is but Right under the train tracks is not in the middle, but it's like kind of right at the edge. Come over here with your metal detector, and you will find a random coin. There are a couple things up a little bit, so let's go up here. Right here is a spot for a random arrow. Arrowhead. <laughs> Is the indication to this location? I can tell you it's next to a tree stump. Um, okay, let's go over here to this area, which is more than what I'm used to saying. But I'm gonna say there's some things over here, and there's some things over here, and then I'll end the video. But right here at this location on the porch, on the front porch of this house is a ten of wands and there's a well right about here uh, in front of the house there's a, a well go down the well and uh, once you reach the bottom pull out your metal detector and you will find a random coin that's one thing and right about here at this location is a spot for a random Lost jury. It's by a tree in two graves. At this location, there's a random lost jury. You will need your metal detector for this as well. Okay, let's jump over here. Which there are more things. Right here inside this house, there's two things. Which one is a cognac bottle, which is an antique alcohol bottle. And it's on top of the bedroom side fireplace, which I think this house has two fireplaces. Like there's one on the bedroom side and one on, I guess, the living room side. I don't know the front side where the door is. But on the bedroom side fireplace, there's a cognac bottle, antique alcohol bottle. And right inside the house on the table, which I think this is like as soon as you walk in. There's a Five of Pentacles tarot card. Okay. And. 
right here at this location on the win on the windowsill there's a six of swords tarot card right there at that location if you come about right here with your metal detector you will find a random lost jury is next to a tree and a broken wagon right here at this location so if you do come over here that's an indication for that one more thing which is a um, a bird egg this bird egg is an egg egg and it's in a tree and you shoot it down with your varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow for right now, that's all I have for you guys, which was a lot more than I usually try to say or anything like that. But I'm just basically trying to help you guys out as much as I can before the cycle switches again. So you can get as much as you can without you know having to worry about all that stuff in this area. But as I say, you should have a video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how's every, how everything is going. This week, I don't think we had a um, a real update for Red Dead Redemption or like a you know the drip feed stuff. So we're gonna push the live stream because I kind of been too busy trying to play Grand Theft Auto with the new DLC and getting all the new stuff and everything like that. So we're gonna push. Red Dead Redemption live stream until maybe next week. If something new drops to or Tuesday or we can look out for something Thursday. Who knows? But thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the late video today. I wasn't feeling too well. So I had to push the video back a little bit longer. But as I said. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get each and every video that I do release. If you guys want to see any other games as um, more Call of Duty, uh, more Spider-Man, because I still haven't played Spider-Man yet, or I haven't played more of Spider-Man yet, uh, what else I have? Uh, there's other games that I have <laughs> that I haven't really gotten into. Which, I mean, I do need to get into it. I do know I need to get into it. But if there's anything else you guys um, want me to know, hit me down in the comment section below. And I will try to get into those videos because, I mean, then I'll know people actually want to see those videos for me. But <laughs> for the thousandth time in this video, it's the main man, Hitman, and I'm out.